Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you're watching Married to College Esports. So we have what may be the final game of our Rocket League team for the fall 2023 semester. They are going up against Virginia Western Wesleyan University for the Nace Star League Varsity Plus competition. We are about to get things started up, so I need to get through announcements as fast as I can. So first of all, let's talk about who's going to be playing. So we're going to have freshman Joel Crispin V. Corsic playing. We're going to have sophomore Justin Shanklin Shank playing. And we're going to have freshman Corey Verkelter and uh, Cloden playing. And of course, we have our coaches, head coach Derek Games, and our Rocket League coaches, uh, Kaden Labora, Timothy, and Noah Calgill Kai. Now, as far as announcements goes, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Married College Esports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. We're using one of their Quad X microphones in our uh, broadcasting station right now. If you want to check out some HyperX gear, please be sure to hyperx.gg slash Marietta The QR code is on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Every Tuesday and Thursdays, they have their game night. So if you go to their restaurant on Front Street in Marietta, they'll have a Nintendo Switch available where you can play some Mario Karts and Super Smash Brothers or some Mario Party. And on Tuesdays, they will be airing our matches that we stream. So like tomorrow, for instance, when we stream our Overwatch match, you can go to their restaurant, get a great deal on pizza and drinks, and cheer on an Overwatch team to see if they can be undefeated in their regular season. Now, we mentioned this earlier today, we announced it on social media, but on Saturday, December 2nd, we are going to have our first annual Marietta Esports Land Fest presented by HyperX. We are bringing back land parties, everyone. So basically at the gathering place, anyone can come by. It's $20 for admission where you can bring your computer or we will have some gaming laptops available for renting, but a limited supply. But you can bring your computer connected to a network and play a whole bunch of games from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We got to have food vendors available. There'll be door prizes. Uh, we're also going to run several tournaments, including Smash Brothers, Fall Guys, Mario Kart, Magic the Gathering and more. So if you want to pre-register, you can go to bit.ly slash landfest2023. This is just to get some preliminary information. We also will have uh, some more detailed information on our Facebook event page. The link for that is on the, the form if you go to the Landfest 23 uh, site. But yeah, we're very stoked about this. Uh, we're still working out a couple of details, but I think this is going to be a very fun event. And of course, thank you all for your support. Uh, thank you for following and subscribing. As we're about to start the game, just going to mention, if you have Prime Gaming, then you can support us for free with a free Twitch sub. If you don't have Prime Gaming, but you have Amazon Prime, go get Prime Gaming. Go to gaming.amazon.com, and it will show you how to do it. And you can subscribe to our channel every month for free, and that will give us benefits and give you benefits like emotes that you see on your screen. So your support is greatly appreciated. But all right, it looks like everyone is getting into the lobby, so we should be starting any second now. I'm just waiting for everyone to choose the sides and actually get underway. But we're just doing the, the final uh, ready checks. But all right, everyone seems to be in, so we are starting things up. Marietta will be on the blue side for this game. So can Marietta get the win here? V Course is going to take down the, the field, but Cloden's going to snatch it away before uh, Virginia Wesley was going to be able to make a strike. Goes in the corner, and Shank's going to get demoed by Yeehaw Sauce. And LaShark is going to go for the goal, but Shank is there for the block. Goes flying in the air, but Nomadic Wings is going to knock it away. V Course is going to set up the play for Cloden. Goes for the shot, but it gets tipped away by La Lashakers. And Marion is trying to try to fight back. Cloden's going to put some pressure back on there, but we're going to see Nomad Wings fighting for it against center. But Yeehaw Sauce is going to knock it towards the center. Cloden's going to go for the shot, but Yeehaw Sauce does get the save. Shank's going to try to center it up, fighting for control. And it's just slowly flying in the air. Nomadic Wings is going to try to set up the play. Shank's going to tip it, but Yeehaw Sauce is going to pass it over to Matic Wings, but does not connect. V Corsic is going to snatch away, but he goes to the other side of the field now. Yeehaw Sauce trying to get control back. 
but it's going to get demoed by Clonin. Nomadically is going to go for the goal, but he misses. V Corsic is going down the field, going to try to go for the shot, but e Sauce is there for the save. Shane goes for the rebound, but does not connect. Now V Corsic gets demoed by Nomadic Wings. He passes it over to e Sauce, but Shane's going to knock it down towards the center. Lasharkis is going down the field though, using his boost, but gonna demo Shane. Clonin with a great save there from Nomadic Wings. Now Clonin's gonna try to take it down. Still has some boost left, passing it over to Shank, but it's gonna go wide left in that corner. So Marietta's gonna fall back. But of course, they're actually gonna try to set up the play. Three minutes to go, no one scored yet. A lot of bumping on the side, but Lasharkis is going to take it down the field, but Shank's going to get it away. The Corsica is going to snatch away, but Ehal Sauce is going to take it back. It's just back and forth. Shank taking it down the field into that corner. Ehal Sauce is going to center the ball, passing it to Lasharkis. And it's going to go straight in. V Corsica tried to go for the block, but he just was not able to connect. You see, tipping it over. Yeah, V Corsic was just a little too late there. So Virginia Wesleyan will take the first goal. 242 remaining. Bowden tips it towards the center, but it's just kind of flying over there. Gets bumped by Yeehaw Soft. V Course is gonna capitalize on this and he's gonna score. Now that is redemption. After missing the first goal, finding that golden opportunity to strike, going all in on that boost, and now they tie it up one apiece. Now, we're about halfway through this first game, neck and neck. Clonin's gonna win the tip off and demos Nomadic Wings. Shanks gonna tip it over in the air, but Nomadic Wings was there for the save. Now Yeehaw Sauce is gonna take it down the field. Clonin's gonna snatch it away. Trying to set up for the Pioneers. The Sharkus misses, and Clonin demos Nomadic Wings. We're seeing a lot of demolitions going on here. It's Marietta that's putting up the uh, offensive pressure onto Virginia Wesleyan. Shank goes for the shot, does not connect. The Corsic kind of jukes himself. Nomadic Wings is going to take it. it actually gets bumped by V Corsic, so that's going to stop his progression. And Shank's going to tip it away. De Clona gets demoed. Virginia Wesleyan did not capitalize on the opportunity to go for the goal. The Sauce will try to center up, but Shank's going to take it down the field. Clona's going to go for the shot, but no, he's going to fall back instead. V Corsic takes it away. And a little bit of fine towards the center. Clona centers up, but Nomadic Wings is going to go for the shot. It goes in the corner, but not quite there. Fortunately for the Pioneers, but Ehal Sauce is going to start flying over, and it's an exposed goal. I don't know what the Pioneers were doing at that point. But everyone was just kind of keep Oh, Clonin was trying to go back, but he got bumped, and was just not able to get back in time. So now Virginia Wesleyan is up 2-1. to one. A minute 14 remains. And it's a neutral ball, but a huge save there by V Corsic. Now Yeehaw Sauce is going to set up the play, but Clinton's going to take it back. Ball gets tipped in the air. Nomadic Wings is going to go for the shot. Hits the crossbar. Nomadic Wings goes for the rebound. Doesn't get it. Less than a minute to go. And Clonin's there by himself. But gets by Lasharkis. So it's just Yeehaw Sauce there. Shank's going to try to go for the bound towards the center, but it gets saved by V Cor uh, the Yeehaw Sauce. V Corsic goes for another shot. Shank's going to try to set up, and the Madden Wings is going to take it down, but Cloden is going to snatch away. 30 seconds remain. Pioneers are down by one. V Corsic's going to try to center it up, but Yeehaw Sauce knocks it away. And Cloden's going to go for the shot, but Lasharkis is there for the save. Now, V Corsic has plenty of boost, but does not connect. Now, Yeehaw Sauce goes for the shot, but Clonin with a huge save. But seven seconds remain. Pioneers need to get the ball down the field and keep it in the air. And Shank gets demoed. The ball stays on the ground. And game one will go to Virginia Wesleyan. 
So we're seeing there, Marietta was actually playing a lot more aggressive. Looks like six shots at the goal, where uh, Virginia Wesleyan was seven. But the problem was that, well, Virginia Wesleyan was able to get the uh, more goals in. But everyone looks like that they are ready. So we should be starting up the second game uh, very soon. Yeah, I'm just waiting here. I thought everyone said that they were ready here. Okay, now we're getting things uh, set up for uh, game two. So we should be starting any second now. Just waiting here. Everyone's in the lobby. And we are starting up here. All right, this is going to be game two. We'll see if the Pioneers can tie this up. The Sharkus is already trying to get the ball down the field, but Cloden is going to get the save. Yalsos is going to go for the shot, but V Korsik bumps it away. Cloden's taking it down the field, passing it over to V Korsik. Ball gets sent up for Shank to go for the shot, and he is going to knock it away. Clonin's going to get it away from Yeehaw Sauce, but the Matic Wings is there to keep it away. And a lot of bumpings going around. Shank's going to get the uh, the ball tipped away. Actually, the Pioneers are bumping themselves. The course, it's going to knock it away from the goal. The Yeehaw Sauce is going to keep the... Uh, the momentum going. Shank's gonna knock it away. Lasharkis is gonna center up, but Clone's gonna take it down the field over to Matic Wings, but it gets saved by Yeehaw Sauce. Of course, he's gonna go for another shot, and Pioneers will score! A great setup there. Yeehaw Sauce gets the block. V Corsic knocks it over and just goes right in. That's what you wanna see. So Clonin's going to tip it towards the center, passing over to V Corsic. It does not connect. Shank's going to try to get the ball away from their goal. Has a little bit of boost. Gets it centered, but Nomadic Wings is going to try to fight back. But Shank does knock it way over to Virginia Westland's side of the field. And there was a good opportunity there, but just not able to capitalize on it. Clonin's going to knock it away. And an open goal. And another goal by the Pioneers. That was just great execution. Let's take a look at that again. Yeehaw Sauce misses. And it's just an open goal that the Pioneers were able to capitalize. So they're up 2 to nothing. 3 minutes, 30 seconds. There's still a lot of Rocket League in this game. But this is exactly the kind of momentum that the Pioneers need. The ball tips into the air. V Course is going to center up. Shank wants to go for the shot. And another goal by the Pioneers. Everybody is scoring here. Just tips it over to Matic Wings. And now Pioneers are up 3 to 0. The, you can see the confidence being built uh, by the, uh, the Mariana Rocket League team. Shank's going to win the tip off. The Sharkus is going to lob it over. V Corsic gets it away. Shank's going to get demoed. Now, Nomadic Wings does not have any boost left, but he's trying to set up. V Corsic knocks it away. Lasharkis wants to set up a play, but he's going to miss. So Shank's going to knock it down. Clonin knocks it over, but gets demoed by Yeehaw Sauce. So now Shank's going to go for the goal, but he gets demoed before he's able to connect with the ball. So now V Corsic tries to get one juke, passes the Clonin. It does get saved by Yeehaw Sauce. V Corsic gets another attempt, doesn't connect. Shank's going to go for the goal, but doesn't have the momentum. Clonin tries to knock it over, but it goes in that corner. So two and a half minutes remain in this game. And Marianne is trying to play more aggressive. Yeehaw Sauce does not gain control. Matic Wings tries to knock it back. Clonin goes for the goal, but uh, Lasharkis is there. Gets past V Corsic. Yeehaw Sauce is going to go for that goal, but it gets tipped away by Shank. Now Clothin and Lasharkis are going to fight for control, but the Corsic will get it away. Clothin knocks it down. Yeehaw Sauce is going to fall back. A little bit of bumping going on between the teammates. 
The shark is just trying to regain control. But going to get juked on by two players. Open goal, but Cloden is trying to knock away. And Shank and Cloden actually get the ball away from the goal. That is huge. Passing it over to Cloden. But it gets stopped by Lashark as Shanks are trying to go for the down shot. Doesn't get it. It's so close there. Minute 30 remains. Pioneer still up by three. Cloden just knocks it way over to the goal. Yasas does get the save. Now V Course is going to get it away from Lashark as the Matic Wings wants the block, but he misses. Now V Course wants to center up, but he's going to fall back. Instead, Shanks going to fight for control. Cloden bounces it towards the center, passing it over to Cloden. Shank does not have any boost, so there's not much he can do. He, of course, he tries to go for it, but it hits the crossbar. A minute remains, and Shank's going to try to keep the ball onto Virginia Wesleyan's side of the field. But now, V. Corsi is going to try to fight for control of this ball. 45 seconds remain. Pioneer is still up by three. Lasharkis, though, has an open goal. And he's going to strike. And Cloden gets demoed at the same time. Pioneer still up by two, but 39 seconds remain. There's still a lot of Rocket League that can happen. It is not over yet. Although the ball is going straight for the goal, the Sharkus does get the save. V Corsa going to try to set up. 30 seconds remain. V Corsa gets demoed. Now, Nomadic Wings is going to try to take control of the ball. Cloden tries to get the tip of it, and V Corsa will knock it down. Now, he's going to start flying through, using up most of his boost. Trying to fight for the ball. Cloden's going to tip it in the air. And Shank and Nomadic Wings are fighting for control. V Corsa is going to go for that shot, but it goes wide left. Three seconds remain. And Marietta will take game two. So it is now tied up one game apiece. And we're just seeing there just a huge difference in aggression. Cloden made six shots at the goal, getting one in there. Corsic, v Corsic going with three, but every single one of the Pioneers made one goal, which was huge in that matchup. Just playing more aggressive was the, the name of the game. If they can keep that up, then they may be able to take this match. It is now turned into a best of three. So we're just waiting for everyone to be ready, and then we will get into game three. So I think we're just, yeah, we're just kind of waiting for that. Uh, but yeah, just very good gameplay there, especially from Cloden with yeah trying to go for six attempts uh, at the the goal, just very well executed. But we'll see if the Pioneers can keep up that momentum going into this next game. So we are getting everyone in the lobby, and we should be starting any second here. Still waiting. All right, now we're ready to go. So, all right. Game three. It's one game apiece. And Clona immediately just strikes within the first two seconds of the game. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. Just goes right towards the center. Virginia Wesley was not ready for it. And they're able to strike early on. That is the momentum the Pioneers need to keep up. Ball gets tipped in the air. Yeehaw Sauce is going to be like, we're not going to go fall for that twice. But just like that, Virginia Wesleyan strikes back. Just a high bounce. And Cloden was not able to react fast enough. So two goals in eight seconds is insane. Now Yeehaw Sauce is going to try to go for another quick strike. Cloden's going to knock it away. But Nomadic Wings going for another shot. Yeehaw Sauce wants to go for the rebound. But it goes a little bit wide. So everyone's fighting for control. V-Course is trying to take it down the field. Lasharkas wants to take it back. Cloden using a little bit of boost and trying to gain away from Virginia Wesleyan. Trying to pass it to V-Course who goes for the shot. But it gets blocked. Shank's going to fly down, use, take some boost. 
and try to disrupt the shark as he was going to go for a goal, but it gets stopped by V Corsic. So we're going to see Cloden now going to try to take the ball down the field. Got the fight with Eosos. Does lose that fight, though. Shank is going to be able to knock it into that corner. Trying to use his boost, but going to let V Corsic take it down. Eosos is going to fight back. Now Shank's going to try to take it down the field, but the Sharkus is going to try to say something else about it. And Yeehaw Sauce actually misses. So Cloden's going to center it up for V Corsic. Goes for the shot. And it gets stopped by Lasharkus at the last second. You hate to see that. But now with all those demos going on, Cloden's able to score. We got to take a look at that again. Yeah, Cloden takes the ball over and gets a demo. He's just like, forget you. I'm just going to go right through you and score. And now the Pioneers are up 2-1. 3 minutes, 31 seconds remaining. Cloden wins the tip off. Matic Wings is going to try to set the play, but you see the Shark is knocks it out, but V Course is going to set it back. The Matic Wings does not have any boost left, so there's not a whole lot I can do. Cloden's going to try to set up the play. Great opportunity, but does not capitalize. V Course is now going to go for the shot, hits the crossbar. Shang tries to go for the follow-up, but Eos does get the save. Cloden finds an opening, but does not get the angle he wants. And now he doesn't really have much left passing the V Corsic, but it gets saved by uh, several uh, people in Virginia West. So Shank's going to go for the shot. Another save by Yeehaw Sauce. So Marietta's continue to try to make shots, but now the ball's towards Marietta's side. Shank's going to fall back. And Lasharkis is able to score. So despite all the different shots Marietta was making at the goal, we just see Shank using everything he's got and just not able to block in time. So now it's two apiece, two minutes and 40 seconds. This has been back and forth. It gets tipped in the air. Yeehaw Sauce is going to knock it up to the side. Nomadic Wings gets demo by Cloden. Now the course is going to go for it and he's going to get it. Another goal by the Pioneers. We're just seeing the we're just seeing that confidence coming back for the the pioneers they're, they're playing um a lot more aggressive a lot more confident than they had in previous games but now the shark is going to take the ball down the field the sauce is going to set it up but clone is going to knock it away getting past nomadic wings actually no he's going to try to take it back the corsic misses shanks going to Get it passed a little bit from Lasharkis, but everyone's flying over and past the ball. Lasharkis is going to try to set up the play. And actually, it's bumped by Yeehaw Sauce. So a little miscommunication there from Virginia Wesleyan. But now Lasharkis is going to try to set up the play, but Clone is going to bump it back. A minute 55 remains. Pioneers are up by one. We see Lasharkis is going to try to pass it over to the Matic Wings, but V Corsic is going to fight back. He also saw centering it up for Nomadic Wings, but he misses. If that connected, it would have gone in. So now, Cloden does not have any boost left, so he's just trying to get the ball down as fast as he can. V-Course is using all of his boost, but going to lose control. Now, Lasharkis is going to go for the shot, but it goes wide left. Now V Corsic using all of his boost to go in the air, but Yeehaw Sauce is able to deflect it, taking the ball down the field slowly, gets tipped toward the center. Nomadic Wings is going to go for the shot, but it's going to get saved by Shank. Nomadic Wings goes for another shot. V Corsic gets it away this time. Yeehaw Sauce is going to bounce, try to set up the play for the Shark as one minute remains. Pioneers up by one, so this is still anyone's game. But a huge save there by V Corsic to prevent the tie. Can Marietta hang on for another 46 seconds? V Corsic is trying. He's got a lot of boost, so he's going to bump. Now Shank's going to pass it over to Clona, knocks it down the field, but does not have much boost, so there's not a whole lot he can do. 30 seconds remain. Yeehaw Sauce going down the field with the ball. Yeehaw Sauce is going to try to pass it to. Lasharkis who docks it towards the other side of the field. But everyone's 
trying to play a little cautious. They don't want to give up the goal. The course is going to go for the shot, but he does not connect. It's now 10 seconds remain. And V Corsic's going to get demoed. And Clone's going to try to use this opportunity. The ball just needs to land on the ground. And Mariana will take game three. So three to two. So this is huge for the Pioneers. They are at match point. So they are just one game away from taking this series. It would be their first win of the semester. Uh, they've been working so hard. So it'd be great to see them come out uh, with the win there. We're seeing V Corsic there with three shots of the goal, making one. Cloden taking two attempts and two goals. Shank making two shots himself. So a total of six, seven uh, shots at the goal. So we're just seeing that matchup in the aggression on that um, on their offense. And that's something they've been struggling with all semester. So now they're starting to play a lot more confident. But here we go. We are getting things set up for game four. Match point for the Pioneers. Chat, if you think the Pioneers can close this out, show your enthusiasm in the chat. So as we get things started up here... So Lestarkis wins that tip off, taking the ball down towards Marion's side of the field. Does not have any boost though. Shank does knock the ball towards the side. Yeehaw Sauce going to try to set up the play, but knows that Clone's going to take it back. But he's going to try to resume control, going for the shot, but Shank's going to get the epic save. But an open goal is going to give the first goal to Virginia Wesleyan. So there just wasn't much that the Pioneers can do. So a very quick strike by Virginia Wesley, and they want to go to a game five. Marianne needs to find ways to close this out. You see, B course, they're gonna try to lob it towards it. Yeehaw Sauce does get the block. Shank does not have any boost, but he's able to deflect it back. And we're seeing everyone on the Pioneer side lose. And despite not having a lot of boost, Shank's like, you know what? I'm gonna go in anyway. So Cloden takes it around and just a great pass over the shank. That's textbook Rocket League right there. So the Pioneers will tie this up. They want to, to win this game. They have been hungry for a win all season long. The ball gets past the Sharkus. So V Corset going to try to take it down. He's got a plenty of boost. Cloden's going to try to keep up that aggression, but does not get away from Matic Wings. Shank's going to fall back. Try to keep the ball on the sides. But Yeehaw Sauce is going to go straight for a goal. And what? It just went in. I thought there was a block. Let's take a look at that again. He just goes for the strike. And yeah, it got tipped by Cloden. So Virginia Wesleyan is now up by one. So Shanks going to knock it towards the center. But Lasharkis has other plans. And a lot of bumping going around. Nomadic Wings taking the ball down, but Cloden is going to get demoed by Nomadic Wings. Shank goes for the shot. Doesn't quite get it. Now we've seen V Corsic fighting for it, but Lasharkis is going to knock it towards the side. Cloden has a little bit of boost, use everything he's got to get the ball away, but it's going to get bumped back towards the goal. V Corsic knocks it past Lasharkis, but it's just a little bit to the left. 325 remaining. Pioneers down by one. It is match point for the Pioneers. So if they can win this, they will take the series. Cloden is going to bounce it. Yeehaw Sauce tips it in the air. Goes towards the center. But it's going down the field. Yeehaw Sauce uses most of his boost. Passing over to Lasharkis. Goes wide right. Now Cloden uses all of his boost. But Shank's going to knock it down, passing it over to Cloden, sets up the center play. Shank's going to hit it off the crossbar. V Corson goes for the shot, but it's just a little bit to the right. Shank's going to bounce it towards the center. Cloden goes for the shot, but doesn't get it. So now, now the Pioneers have to fall back. V Corson gets it away towards the center, but Lasharkis wants to set up for Virginia Wesson. Shank tips it away, passing it over to Cloden, but the Matic is going to knock it over and go for another shot. And Lasharkis will get the goal. So now they're up three to one. 
to bounce us towards the center. And Losarkis is going to be able to go. Shank tries to get the save, but does not get it. So 238, Pioneers down by two. So they need to get two more goals to try to at least get into overtime with this game. And Clonin's going to try to take it down the field. Losarkis does get the save. And it's going to get bumped by Shank. So now Clonin's going to fight for the ball. Gets a bounce in the air. V course, it goes for the shot, but it gets blocked by Yeehaw Sauce. Clonin goes for another shot. But Yeehaw Sauce gets it away. V course, it tips it over. Shank gets the stop, but it gets tipped into the air. Clonin's going to take it down the field. Demos Lasharkis. Shank tips it in the air. Can Barry Air get the rebound? They're trying. Clonin goes for the shot, but it does get saved by the Matic Wings. Shank's going to try to set up the play once again. A minute 50 remains. So Clonin's going to use up all of his boost to take the ball in the air, but gets by everyone. But Lasharkis and Shank are going to fight for control. B. Corsic using his boost to, well, he loses control of the ball. Shank's going to take it away. Yeehaw Sauce is going to fight for it. Shank's going to have to fall back. And it gets knocked towards over the side. But Clonin's going to fly over, use the boost, but it gets saved by Lasharkis. Uh, v. Corsic gets them in the process. Everyone misses the pass. V. Corsic goes for the shot, but another save by Lasharkis. One minute remains. Marietta is still down by two. Shank's going to try to make a play, but there's not much he can do. He doesn't have a lot of boost to work with. It gets tipped high in the air. So now Clonin's going to try to set up the play. Passing over to V. Corsic, but he misses the pass. So Clonin's going to try to pick the play himself, but just cannot rotate fast enough. Yasos gets tipped. And Lasarkis is going to pass it over to Yeehaw Sauce, which takes it down the field. 30 seconds remaining. V. Corsic passes it to Cloden. He's going to fly over towards the center. Shank's going to get it away. And Shank's going to get a goal. With 16 seconds remaining, Pioneers are down by one. So we're seeing just a quick strike. So if Marietta can score in the next 16 seconds, we will go into overtime. So Clonin's going to go for that quick strike. Of course, they're going to try to set it up. 10 seconds remain. Can the Pioneers get another goal within 5 seconds? Clonin's going to try. The ball is in the air. Shanks trying to keep it up as much as possible, but it's going to fall. And Virginia Wesley will take game four, which means we are going to go to a game five. So two games apiece. But it has been literally back and forth uh, with these two teams. You see Marietta trying to go for seven shots. I mean, they are still playing more aggressive offensively. It's just some of those openings, they got punished. And Virginia Wesleyan was able to capitalize on it. So this is going to be it, everyone. One game was going to decide the all the marbles. So can Marietta close this out? Or will Virginia Wesleyan get the, uh, the dub? We're getting things set up here for the final game Winner takes all. I'm just waiting for him to hit, the, hit the start button. Now they hit the start button. But here we go, folks. Can the Pioneers win this? Everyone wants this win. And it's going to go straight for the side of Marietta's goal. Clone is going to try to be very patient. Getting the ball away from Virginia Wesleyan. Using all of his boost to try to set up the, the shot. But just didn't get the right angle. Shank's now going to fly over. Lashark is okay, down the field, but he, of course, is going to center up. But not much Shank can do because he does not have any boost. So right now, Mary is having some boost trouble. And V. Corset gets demoed. So now Lashark is going to try to set the play. Cloden tips it back. 
Shark is going to use his boost to resume control of the ball, but it gets centered up. And everyone's going to miss, except for Yeehaw Sauces, which is going to take it down the field. Bowden knocks it away. But Clone's going to take it down towards the goal, but it's going to get saved by Lasharkis. Of course, it's going to try to set the play, but a huge save there by Nomadic Wings. So now Shanks going to try to go for the, the shot, but doesn't get the angle. V Course is going to look for the rebound, passing it over to Cloden, but it's going to get saved by Yeehaw Sauce. Shanks going to get it away from the Matic Wings, but the Sharkus is there to help out. The Cloden's going to take the boost, but he gets demoed, but so does the Matic Wings. And now Virginia Wesley hits the crossbar. Cloden gets the juke. He only has got 10 boosts remaining, but he gets a little bit back, trying to pass over the shank. It gets bounced towards the center. V-Corset going to fight for it. I see Bald hands towards the goal, but Shank's going to knock it over. It gets tipped by Yeehaw Sauce, but Lasharkis is going to get uh, demoed. Shank wants to try to center up, but I don't think he's going to get it. Yeehaw Sauce wants to fight for it. Shank's going to tip it towards the center. Cloden's going to knock it away from the Matic Wings. Three minutes remaining. No one has scored yet. As back and forth as it's been, it may only just be one goal. Whoever gets that will win this entire series. Now, Yeehaw Sauce is going to take it down the field. Gets bumped by Cloden. But Lashark is using his boost to get down the field. V Corsic's going to get demoed. Yeehaw Sauce tries to capitalize on this. Ball goes in the air, but it's just a little bit to the left. The course is going to be fighting for control. Two minutes and 30 seconds remain. It is still scoreless from both sides. Yeehaw Sauce is going to try to change that. The course is going to keep the ball in the air, but this is a dangerous spot. Cloden gets the huge save, though, passing it over to V Corsic. The amount of wings does tip it back, but Cloden is going to try to center up the play. Shank goes for the shot, but it's a little wide left. Cloden now is going to set up for V Corsic, but does not have the angle he wants. Two minutes for Maine in this game. Now Shanks, actually Cloden's gonna knock it down the field, but Lasharkis gets the save. Shanks gonna go for the rebound. The Nomadic Wings gets the stop. And the ball gets by Shank. Cloden is able to get the save though. He also is out of boost. And everyone's missing the ball in the center. That's a dangerous spot for the ball to be neutral. Shank takes it down, but it's gonna get knocked back by Yeehaw Sauce. And Cloden gets it away from the Matic Wings, who was about to try to score. Cloden flies in the air. V Corset gets demoed. So not much Marietta can do in their offense, but we're going to still see Marietta trying to set up a play. Cloden is going to try to fly over, passing over to Shane. Does not get the shot, gets bumped away instead. Gets tipped into the air. Shane carries, goes for something, but does not get the play he wants. Is going to end up falling back. The Shark gets, gets bombed. One minute remaining. Still scoreless. This could very well be whoever scores next wins the entire series. So who wants it more? Virginia Tech, I'm not, Virginia Wesleyan, sorry, trying to set up the play, but Marietta is trying to get their defense set up. A little bit of fighting going on between the Matic Wings and Cloden. Yeehaw Sauce is going to go for the shot, but it gets saved by V. Corsic. Takes it down. It almost goes in. It's so close. You can hear the frustration there. 30 seconds remain. Virginia Weston is going to go for the shot, but it gets knocked away by V. Corset, but still a very dangerous spot. And Lasharkis is going to score with 23 seconds remaining in the game. And now the pressure's on the Pioneers because they have to score extremely fast. Otherwise, Virginia Weston will take the series. So Cloden knocks it down the field, but the Matic Wings will take over. V Corsic is going to try to take it back. But now 10 seconds remain. Marietta has to score to get the game into overtime. Five seconds remain. And the ball is in the air. They got to get it all the way to the other side of the field without the ball hitting the floor. And that is going to be it. That is such a heartbreaker. The Pioneers were so close to, to getting their first win, but they just fall short. 
to Virginia Wesleyan. But you hate to see that they we just seen they played very aggressive, but just that one opening, and that's just the, the thing about a game like Rocket League, where a split second hesitation or just an opening here, and if the other team capitalizes it, that's gonna be the difference between victory and defeat. So that is going to conclude the Rocket League season for this semester. We'll have to double check about like any postseason play, but we'll keep you updated uh, on that. So as a reminder, tomorrow our Overwatch team will be playing at 7 o'clock to see if they can go undefeated this semester in the regular season. Our Smash match that was supposed to be on Thursday has been rescheduled to Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So just keep in mind on that. So that means there will not be any matches stream on Thursday or Friday of this week. But that is going to be it for us today. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Meredith College Esports, Please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts to all of our supporters. We want to thank HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Meta College Esports. We also want to thank Buy Blue Light, Elgato, Incrediware, Over the Moon Pizza, Kovacs, uh, and MSI for their support. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night.